Well, next project we're working on, one of these guys, 47RE out of a second gen Cummins. I'm going to tear it all apart, completely rebuild it, convert the uh, valve body to completely manual shifting. So, first gear would be first gear, second gear would be second gear, third gear would be third gear. Lock up the torque converter on a switch and hit overdrive on a switch. No computer control whatsoever and it'll be going in an off-road truck so should be a pretty good setup actually. So I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride when we build up a 47RE. I just pulled this torque converter off and uh, just drained all the fluid and everything like that and I'm just gonna start pulling these Output speed sensor out and the sh like the shift indicator sensor and these levers and all this stuff. Well, that's exactly how it came apart. I haven't really touched anything yet. I just kind of cleaned up some spilt oil, but yeah, the fluid looks great, nice and red. Nothing on the magnet. The filter looks maybe it was just replaced recently. Looks brand new. All right, get that filter out of there. Just let it drain. And then should be able to just come in here and flop this valve body off now. It's just uh, these 11 mils are holding it in around here. And then everything else under here is just it's a T25 Torx. All of these. And there you go, it's out. It's only just uh, bolts here, here, and then here and then you have to pull it down and out because you have to pull the park rod here out. And something I've also noticed before is if you put it in like first gear when you're pulling it out, it seems to be a little easier because then you can kind of pull it out a bit before it catches on the park thing and then it gives you a little more wiggle room to pull it out. Same with putting it back in too. Just about to start pulling this thing apart. I'm gonna pull the, the wiring off it and the solenoids and the the park rod here and I was just looking at it and I noticed check ball is like wearing away bulging out this center plate here. Not that big a deal, it's just reverse, so yeah I'm gonna just about to pull these two bolts out and the take the governor pressure solenoid housing off of there and the governor pressure uh, solenoid here, the sensor, temperature sensor here and then the overdrive and lock up. I don't remember which one's which. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, I'll test them, but yeah, so I'm just gonna start pulling this thing apart. Oh, there you go, just pulled the park guard off. It's just this one clip, comes right off. Governor pressure housing and the solenoids and all that. I just pulled this uh, overdrive accumulator piston cover off. And as you can see, it's all busted up and broken. So we're definitely gonna need one of those. It's like all seized in there, can't even get it out. I'm just about to separate this thing and undid all the bolts and uh, just this one here with the larger washer on it is a little longer. All the rest of them are the exact same size. Got all the bolts off and you can just rip this overdrive section off. No check balls or anything in that, it's just the aluminum. And you can get the steel off here. Try not to lose your check ball. There's just one little guy right there. And then, just be able to just separate this guy here, hopefully without losing anything. Get him out of the way. There's a filter under there, that's what it's sitting on. And then under here we have a couple more check balls. They're all the same except for this one's a little bigger. I just pulled that check ball out of here. I just like to put it in a bag so it's like 
It's a lot harder to lose a big Ziploc bag than it is a little check ball. And then flip this over. And you see this little filter here. Looks pretty good. Doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything, anything too crazy in there. So now we can pull out a couple of these. See if they're all the same size. Looks like it. All the same size. Just a plate, I guess. Nothing going on with that. And then we can get this plate off. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And then there should be some check balls in here. One here. One here. Oh, one here. And I think that's it. I just pulled those check balls out real quick. Just put them in a bag so we don't lose them. Because that would be really annoying. So now tip all this fluid out of here and I think I'm just going to clean all this fluid up a little bit and then you can take out all these valves out of here. So I just pulled the uh, this whole bracket assembly off where the pressure adjustment is. See this is the pressure adjustment guy. And we've got some springs for the uh, pressure circuits and then this is, I don't know, something, does something. This thing is uh, the um, throttle valve right here, from right here, under here. So then next I'm just going to pull out this little clip and then you can separate this out and the other part out of the bottom there. See here I just got this clip off here and then that slides out the bottom and that slides off the top. And be careful of this guy because it definitely wants to run away. And the valve pops out. And then uh, I just need to make note, I forgot from the last part, there was this orange spring in there that goes with this piece. Just forgot to grab it out of there. There you go. Well, I just pulled this uh, cover off here and these little valve things and springs and then I pulled this cover off from here. And then this cover off from here and then this whole housing comes out and this valve was on this side of the housing and then this valve came out of the end with the spring all those valves and springs came out of there so this stuff here came from right here and then uh, yeah this stuff here from out of there. So pretty much got this one all, to all torn down ready to go. Nothing else in there. So now I can just start cleaning everything up and just kind of keep it sorted out so I don't forget how to put it back together. And then yeah, start tearing this one apart now. There's only a couple in there so it'll only take a second. Well, there we go, that's the whole overdrive housing all pulled apart, ready for cleanup. These ones are just out of, out of there, and these ones are out of here, these two here, and then this one here is, is right in there. So this is what you need to make it manual valve body. Full command control. This is what you need. So, make sure it's not a 48 RE. We gotta make sure it does not have that hole right there. I don't see a hole. So we're good to go. On to the next step. 
All right, page one, step one. Drill a couple holes for some firm lockup. Right there, a couple holes. Sweet, step two. So the lube and converter flow passage. Right there. Really small hole. Step three. Only if you have a four lined switch valve, you need to grind right there apparently. So we have ground to the switch valve. We should be good to go. And then file a notch across here. It's not fussy. <laughs> there you go. Nice notch. On to the next page. So page two wants us to grind the TV valve down a bit and install a new yellow spring. So grind it down a little bit, new yellow spring, good to go. And then step three, it's going to want us to assemble all this back together and check it, which I can do. I have the, the new valve right here, this is the stock one, so it just like goes, well, new valve in there, like that, with this, like that. Like that. Pin falls out and then now you got your gear shifting. Alright, well next up we just gotta remove this original spring from here and install a new black spring. Good to go. And then reuse these springs but replace this middle one with a new orange spring. Good to go. New orange spring, and then don't gotta do this because I have an RE, not an RH. So now I just gotta put all these things in there, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, page four, step one. Uh, replace this one-two governor valve here, which I've got right here. A new governor valve for 1 2 shift. Step 2, um, new lockup bracket, new stronger lockup bracket. I got him right there, he just goes right there. And then modified engines that want more lockup pressure. Well, we're definitely going to want that, so drilled that hole out right there. It's just the cover for here. Alright, step 5, we just got to drill out our separator plate here. I went for the bigger ones obviously. So 332 in the one two hole right here which is right there. And then the two three holes right here. I did just a little bit larger than a one eighth. And that's this guy right here and this one right here. So we got that done and then I don't need to worry about any of this stuff because I have different transmission. So page six. Unplug the governor solenoid. Alright, fair enough. New tapered bushing into the hole. I got it in there, it's just uh, this hole here. Just pushed it in there and I used one of these bolts and just whacked it down in there until it was about an inch in there. And then, what do we got? Step three, new overdrive accumulator spring. And if you remember when we were tearing this thing apart, that was basically the only thing that was broken. So there you go, got a new spring in there. And then step four, new blue spring, new blue spring on the pressure release valve here. New blue spring, and then I just gotta put it all together and make my adjustments here. Fire breathing dragon strip use only. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. So 
see, so now I got my plate on here. Now, if you look under here, you see how that's flush there? That's flush there. Leave flush for an unmodified engine, so we'll adjust that screw out a little bit which is right here. That's the pressure adjustment, like the line pressure adjustment for the whole transmission. So we'll back that out a couple times and then we're done with this, this piece here. So you can put that aside. And this next step here is inside the transmission, so we don't need to do that right now. So next I'm gonna move on to this guy. Start putting him together with these valves. Just about to put this whole section back together. That's pretty much how it goes. It's just, we had to replace this spring that was broken and the three, four shift accumulator there. Everything else is the same, other than I just did a little bit of a modification here. Right here, I blocked this passage because it'll allow you to lock up your torque converter when you're still in second gear, which these transmissions would not normally do that. And I mean, you, you can't weld this because you'll warp the plate and it'll just be garbage. So, JB Weld right there. That's good to go. Get this back. Oh no. We're gonna knock everything out of the way. Alright, good to go. So, I'm just gonna slam all that stuff in there. And then we can start putting everything back together. I'm running out of pieces on my table here. Alright, that one's all back together. Ready to go. Get it over here out of the way. And then this plate here goes on there. And then I just gotta put a check ball under here. And under here. Right there. And right there. Those guys right there. And I'm just gonna reuse the filter because there's nothing wrong with it. It's good to go. And then this plate here right there, one more bolt right there, and then yeah, then I just gotta get the rest of these check balls in there, and then one more underneath, and then try to sandwich it all together without losing anything. Alright, just about to put these things back together, I just gotta put these balls in, big one goes there, one there, one there. And then I have one left over that I'm not going to put in that was supposed to go there. As you can see it says, much firmer 1-2 shift, leave that ball out. So there we go. So now I can just get this next piece and flip it over. This filter goes down in here and you kind of like put it on and then twist it into place. And then we just put our last ball on and the last plate. Got all my check balls in there, and I got this middle plate all balancing on there. Just gonna grab the last check ball, the smallest one. Goes right there. And then just flip this last piece on, tighten it all down. Alright, now we just gotta throw this gasket on here for the governor pressure housing with the uh, sensor for the temperature and pressure, or the transducer right there. And then your pressure governor solenoid thinger. Then he goes right there. That goes right there. Throw some bolts on there too. Good to go. Park rod goes on the other side. The last two bolts here are for the filter. And then these bolts here for the solenoid. And we'll just check it real quick. It's got 12 volts on pin one. And then I think it's pin eight. There you go, you heard the um, torque converter lock up. And there you go, you heard the overdrive hit. 12 volts, number one. Number seven was the torque converter. Number six, overdrive. So we know they work, they're good to go. Just throw it all back together and we're done. There you go, full manual valve body for a 47RE transmission. Ready to go.
You could put this in any 47RE transmission, even if it's completely stock, and it would change it to manual, manual shifting. So first gear right there, that'll be first gear. Second gear, that'll be second gear. Third gear, that'll be third gear. There's no com control from the computer at all. You want third gear, you're in third gear. And then from there, you can also flick a switch when you're in third gear and it'll lock up your overdrive and you'll go into your overdrive for fourth gear. Or you can flick a different switch and you lock up your torque converter. And you can do that all the way down in second gear, third gear, and overdrive. Have the torque converter locked up, which is awesome actually because the transmission doesn't make any heat if there's no slippage. So it's super good for cruising off-road or towing if you're trying to climb a hill and you can't get all the speed you need. So yeah, ready to go. And then I'm sure this video is going to be super long already as is. So you'll just have to wait for my next video when I tear down the rest of it and replace all the clutches and check everything. So you better subscribe to my videos so you don't miss it.